much to pray about this uh, this morning. We have uh, Brother Joe, uh, my own mother, Mother Andrew, uh, are dealing with illnesses, and our very own pastor has a procedure where he's unable to to speak, but he's right here with us in full spirit. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, let us pray. Eternal Master, we thank you, O oh God. We thank you for this is the day that you have made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. There has been many trials and tribulations on every side, but your word is true, and we can count on your word that we can be of good cheer, even in the midst of adversity. Trouble don't last always. Amen. We'll go through these things, but it's a, a process for us to know the dependence that we have on our God. We must go through these trials and tribulations to, to cultivate our character. So Lord, whatever you feel, whatever you want to do, you can do because you are the sovereign God. You are in control of it all and you know what is best for me and the rest of us because yes, you sir. created us. Yes, sir. You are creator and we are not. So we'll be patient and wait on the Lord. Lord, we just thank you, oh God. You. Lord, we pray for those who are, are sick and shut in. We pray for uh, expedient healing, oh God, that you would Heal them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, so, yeah. oh God, that they would be totally restored because, God, you can do anything yes, but fail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you are a perfectionist, God. Yeah. And when you yeah. get your hands on something, we, we know that it will be done the right yeah. way. Yeah. So we just thank you, God. Thank we you. exalt you and we magnify you. In Jesus' name we pray. And we said amen. amen. If you would, remain standing with me as we go into our responsive reading. And our responsive reading this morning is going to be coming from John chapter 10, verses 1 through 10. And it reads, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate but climbs in by another way is a thief and a bandit. The, the one who is by the gate is the, gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name, and he leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them. There will not follow a, they will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, he said unto them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate of the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to, listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I came in the name of my life and more abundantly. May you be blessed by the hearing and reading of the word of God. I love. Do we have any announcements? Okay. Uh, we, uh, we don't have any announcements except for to keep uh, uh, Jay aware and uh, in, in prayer. Uh, Mother Andrews, Teresa Perry, uh, Brother Hubbany, 
W.J. Perry and our pastor in, in prayer. And uh, those are our announcements for us. Oh, and our, our prayer line, our prayer, prayer line. Our prayer line is Thursdays at 7 p.m. Thursday at 7 p.m. The number is 1-605-313-5769. Access code 699513. And I, I would uh, advise highly that you all plug in because the Spirit of the Lord is moving every Thursday. Amen. 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 That's Bible study. I'll be off for two weeks. Okay. And our, our, our Bible study will be um, suspended for two weeks and we'll start up after that when um, Pastor Ware um, comes back with us. Amen.